Hey everyone, I'm Jenny and I blog at The Domestic Wildflower and I'm going to share with you in this video how to use a steam canner. Um, steam canners are much faster than traditional canners and they are way easier. They can be used for any water bath canning recipe and they save about 25 minutes per batch. Um, the thing that I love about them is that they are, in addition to being uh, much faster, they are way lighter than lugging around a heavy pot of water in the kitchen. So they're much safer and lighter and faster. So the very first step is you'll take the lid off and fill the bottom tray up to the required two to two and a half quarts of water. Um, just check your um, instructions in your manual, but most of them it's two and a half quarts or up over there's a mark on the inside. Um, and set it on the stove. You'll turn it um, to low, you'll set the jars that you're using on to the rack, um, and you'll put the lid back on. Um, and set this to warm on low. Then you'll preserve, prepare your preserve. So you'll make your applesauce, your salsa, whatever you're making. If the thing that you're cooking takes a little bit longer to prepare, like a little bit longer than maybe 20 minutes, you might switch those steps. You might cook your applesauce or your tomato sauce and then prepare your steam canner because this is ready so fast. Um, when your preserve is ready and when the jars are warm, you'll take the lid off, set it on your countertop, and using a funnel, you'll one by one Fill your jars with applesauce or salsa or whatever you've made. Put the lid and the ring on. I don't think there's a lid and a ring on. Put your lid back on. After you have filled all your jars, you'll put the lid back on. And then turn the heat on your stove to medium high. So you'll turn the pot to medium high. Um, when the top dial gets to green, then You'll set your timer for the time indicated on the recipe. Different recipes have different times. Some are 10 minutes, some are 20 minutes. Um, and as the time is running, steam will be pouring from a little hole on the side here, um, like a column of steam, like eight inches long. We'll just be boop, out the side, kind of like a tea kettle. And that's it. When the timer goes off, you can turn your stove off. And at that point, you have a choice. You can use two hot pads and lift this off with the steam pouring out away from you because steam is super, super hot, right? Um, and then at that point you'll listen and you'll hear your jars pop or ping. The lids will be sealing. Or you can just turn your stove off and leave and go on about your day. Um, that's actually what I do a lot. Um, usually I'm in a big wicked rush to leave, to go somewhere. So I often have to just turn the stove off and go. Um, and that's a really nice option too. But that's how you use a steam canner. And if you want to learn more about it, please check out the blog post on the domestic wildflower and I'll link it here. Thanks guys.